great parents. Is it perhaps also challenging for you to maintain the balance between telling your children what is going on in the world and protecting them from bad news? A while ago my son had to share world news in a short childlike oral and it was so difficult for me to decide what he could handle and what I would rather protect him from. There is a lot, especially nowadays, to mourn. Violence, injustice, disease, financial crisis, war. I suspect that we as parents need to teach our children very carefully and with great discernment to care about what is going on in the world without leaving them in fear or anxiety. Every household and every child will therefore discuss the suffering of the world that which he or she is observing differently, but together we can care about the pain of the world. Maybe you won't tell your toddler about war and economic systems that cause famine, but rather just that we are sad with the people who do not have enough and who do not feel safe. We pray for them because we care. You might explain to your preteens in an age-appropriate way what is going on in the news, especially since they would have already heard something of what is going on through friends or conversations they overheard. Then lead them to also talk about the news and what's going on in the world with Jesus. Build the skill to care empathetically, but not to be fanatically overtaken by the concerns of the world. To mourn as Jesus mourned is part of our calling. It's not to get caught up in hardship or to be a victim or to lose hope. It is to acknowledge that terrible and sad things sometimes happen. It is to deal with it in our inner world and in our community, and then also to let go so that sadness and losses do not consume us. It is also sometimes necessary to mourn and grieve over the losses you have experienced in your personal life and in your household's life. Share your stories of sadness and cry together at Jesus' feet. What do you need to step by step, as you are ready, let go of the sadness? This is an exercise we need to do regularly and as we journey with Jesus. Blessed are those who mourn because they will be comforted. We will be comforted by our friend, the great comforter, the Holy Spirit. Should you as a household realize that you have had losses that you are currently suffering from and you would like to talk further, please contact me on the email below. As a community, we are given to each other to support each other and pray together. May you and your household experience comfort today as the Holy Spirit meets each of us in our sorrow. May we mourn, not hopelessly, but in the arms of our Jesus. Until next week, goodbye.